Hi guys, welcome back to today's video. I am doing something very different, and I honestly haven't even seen anyone else do this, and I don't know why. Um, I probably, you know, just missed it, and maybe there were two videos up, but as you can see, I have two planners. I am going to be doing the same week memory keeping style, but in two different planners and in different ways. So I am using both kits from SPC. The one that I'm um, whiting out right now is actually not a full kit. I bought a bunch of grab bags and got like these full boxes that said tons of 2019 things in it. So I knew that I had to use it for 2019. Um, and then this one right here, I actually purchased for the week and didn't have the grab bag. Or I think maybe the grab bag was in the order with this one. And instead of waiting to use it for like a birthday, I just thought, you know what? I have two planners. I don't really want to let one week go to waste. I don't want to have an empty week. Um, and I just love planning. So the more planning, the better, you know? Like, why not? Why not just do it? So, yeah, I mean, I went into this with like no idea of what I was going to be doing. So, um, yeah, you'll kind of notice that. I I honestly just, I just did it. I could have planned it a little bit better. Um, but that's okay. I enjoyed it and it was actually very stressful in the moment because I felt like it was taking so long to do. But you know what? There's two spreads, so of course it's going to take a while, even if I am planning it out. But but yeah, I decided to do them both in the same video because I thought that it might be kind of weird to have two videos of like me talking about the same exact things happening in the same days, you know? Like I felt like you wouldn't want to hear that. But yeah, so that's what the that's what the initial plan was. You'll see that I put the two planners next to each other. Um and I was gonna try to plan it like simultaneously, but it got a little too stressful for me. Like the whole thing in general was just a lot. So I just decided to do it day by day. And that was okay. I think it came out well. So you will see on the left planner, that's the main one. That's the one that I'm actually in now. So I try to make that one look a little bit nicer. Uh, I did pull in some rose gold, and then I showed you, like, a little bit of the, like, pinky purple hollow uh, sparkly foil. I don't really know what it's called. Um, in the video, both spreads look super dramatic with the foil, like that quote box and the overlay top. It looks like it's, like, a dark blue, but in real life, it's, like, a light hollow, light pink, and then the one on the right is just normal hollow. It looks, it looks, um more subtle like it, you can't even tell that it's hollow until you do your shift but yeah that's that's just the reason why it looks kind of strange like the colors don't really match but you'll see you'll see it okay i think i'm laying down some bougie boxes because oh, why not it's new year's it's a little bougie <laughs> okay so on this day i put down that logan and i woke up you know what? I think my plan is just to talk about the days. It's going to be a lot because there's two different plans, but you'll kind of see what I'm putting down and whatnot. But on this day, I woke up with Logan and it was just an like, especially good morning. You know, I was like, hey, Google, please play morning happy playlist or something like that on YouTube. And I just pulled up some random YouTube video and it made us feel really good. Like we were really happy. And, you know, she was singing. Well, not singing. She was dancing and I was singing. It was just like a good morning um i don't get as much time with logan anymore because of my new job so any moment like that just really 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 means a lot to me i was in my training days so i started listening to phone calls because i do work for like a call center insurance place so i was listening to my boss and i just marked down who i was listening to because i don't know it's kind of cool to listen to different people it gives you more experience in what you're doing on this day, I did have friends miss, so earlier in the day, I needed to put in a shipped order, an order pickup, so that I could make pasta, which that little thing at the bottom is to mark that I made pasta, and that's what that grocery shop sticker was for, was to mark my online order. Got it delivered to the house, drove home after work, picked up Logan, and we were just on our merry way hanging out with my friends, um, but I'll get to that a little bit later. Um, in the morning, I did pick up a Cookie Monster, no, not Haha, -ha, Coffee Monsters Co. and Planner Kate, ha no, Happy Mail. Yeah, that's what they're called. And then I hauled it. But yeah, I was really excited. I love Planner Kate. And Coffee Monsters is going to be a shop that I don't order from often unless it's during like some kind of sale, which 
I think I've only ordered from them twice, and it was during Black Friday, and then the other one was birthday sale, I think. Yeah, I believe those are the only two times I've ever ordered. Um, and then my sister ordered once, and I put in a couple of stickers, or I asked for a couple of stickers, but the Coffee Monster sticker that you see down there was actually the one I got that day, so it was more than perfect, because that's how I marked Friends Miss. I really like that, you know, hanging out with friends. I put in that I love my friends, because... Being there just reminded me how much I miss them. Like, you know, you know you miss people, but then when you're with them, you're like, I didn't even realize that I missed this as much as I actually did. You know, you like you just get so stuck in the swing of things that you forget um, what matters. I don't know. That's how I kind of saw it. But I um, put down too that my best friend Tiari. Um, I have three best friends um, that I refer to a lot. It's James, Sarah, and Tiari. Um, Tiari and I have been friends since we were in middle school. Tiari, or J- oh my gosh, Sarah's been my best friend since third grade, and then James has been my best friend since like high school. But those three are my best friends, so you'll hear me refer to them. But Tiari met Logan, and yeah, you can say it's a lot later in the. D- in like logan's life you know she's like one but every opportunity that we've had to spend time together you know logan wasn't really there um we did go to sarah's pageant so that was like a four hour five hour ordeal which no thank you did i want to bring a little one-year-old to sit down for five hours um you know and i wanted all the attention to be on sarah but yeah that's just why but she was so excited to meet logan oh my goodness she brought a toy and it was it was fun um i will admit that it was a little stressful being there and it had nothing to do with the actual party but you know i mean it was a bunch of us high school friends um my friend group we're all i'm 24 about to turn 25 so we're all really young and i'm the only one with a daughter so or a kid and the other girl that actually had a a kid i mean her son's like five months old so you know he doesn't move as much as logan um they didn't come so it was it was just a lot trying to keep her entertained and there were stairs in the house and tons and tons of um little intricate toys and not even toys decorative pieces so i mean logan was amazing and you know she was the best that she could be but she's a one-year-old so i completely understand her being a little a little rascal what else did i oh so i was starving because i couldn't really put her down because she just wanted to go down the stairs and yeah they're only like two three steps but that's just it's scary and the door was wide open the whole evening so you know that leads to outside and that's just like a whole bunch of stuff that i don't want to think about but yeah i was i was starving um i got home and i was so emotional because i like hadn't eaten all day because i was like you know i'm gonna eat there so i'm not gonna really eat as much and i you know i ran home and i was cooking so that didn't leave for a lot of um eating time but my best friend did make me a plate um i also marked in the other planner that she made sushi because she is a professional sushi chef so i was really excited um i don't eat sushi so i brought home for my mom who much greatly appreciated it because she okay i got cut off but um yeah my mom appreciates sushi a lot so she was so excited to try some of sarah's sushi sarah's sushi <laughs> um and then i got home and even though i was exhausted i just wanted to watch hallmark movies i just sat down i relaxed uh, my sister moved the day before that so i just kind of like had the whole downstairs to myself and i was just enjoying it i guess you know i miss my sister but i definitely was tired and i i don't know i just wanted to enjoy a movie you know some alone time i think that's what i needed I think that's what I felt like I needed after it was a very stressful time with Logan I mean it's not her fault I'm gonna say over and over again not her fault but I held her for most of the evening so she wouldn't um run away and knock over stuff and so my arm was sore I woke up the next day and I was at work and I was like my arm is so sore I don't even know why and then I realized it was from holding her but yeah, just some me time when I got home, which is why that little Christmas Coffee Monsters is there, cause even though it's on the New Year's spread week, you know? You'll see that. It's like in the mid, it's like mid-January, and I'm still putting in those stickers because I'm watching tons of Christmas movies. I'm a Hallmark lover, so, you know, that's a year-round event. Okay, so we're finally gonna start moving into Tuesday. Can you believe that? We're like 10 minutes in, and we're only on the second day of the week, but... 
I don't know, this is kind of fun, right? Like, you're seeing different versions of how I'm doing it. It's like, on one day I put a full box, the next time I put in a quarter box, and then, or a little thing, you know? So they're just different interpretations of my day, and that's what makes planning fun. It's just different. The second day was New Year's Eve. Um, for the workplace that I work, or the place that I work, they gave us either Christmas Eve or new year's eve off and i was given christmas eve which i much preferred so uh, most people were off on this day because i think call volumes are a little less than on christmas eve i guess i don't really know how it works but um we have our department split into two sections so we went to the other side just to all be together since there were hardly any of us and so that was kind of fun it was a change of scenery it was like a change of pace you know on your normal work day even though you're literally doing the same exact thing just sitting at a different desk but you know it makes it fun the vibes before any holiday you know even when you're in school that like when you know that you're gonna be on like vacation or you know you're gonna have like a day off everything just feels a lot more relaxed um so i listened to uh, another co-worker of mine i listened to her phone calls for more training um and i spent most of my day just calling providers and just asking if they were still accepting new patients and updating that kind of list so i mean it was a really chill day because most offices were closed or closed after noon like af not afternoon but like after 12 o'clock so yeah that was just kind of like my morning um work was just really relaxed and i enjoyed it I came home and Logan and I just played. We just enjoyed spending time with each other and you know, I just I just miss Logan. I miss her a lot. She's not on the same island as me right now. She went to go visit my sister and my second mom, which is like her grandmother, um cuz my mom is up there, but I just missed her. So it was nice to just spend time together and just, you know, enjoy the ending of our year being mommy and Logan, you know? Like I just I just love that. I I yeah, I have no words. Um, but I did intend on going to sleep at, like, 9 o'clock. Like, I wanted to be in bed, sleeping, didn't even care to bring in the new year, to, like, and doing anything else other than that. Um, I mean, I had other options to go places, but I just wanted to not do anything and just be at home. So, what I ended up doing was the exact opposite. I, um, started organizing... Oh, wait, here, this is when my camera died. I started organizing like junk mail and then because of that i started doing like a ton of dishes and then i started doing laundry and then i just like could not stop cleaning oh my gosh i just needed to stop and so finally around like 10 30 i sat down to eat some dinner and relax and look out the windows um i guess in the in the middle of all of that i didn't realize that from my living room we have these massive windows in our living room you know i can say living room five times <laughs> but um you could just see fireworks everywhere surrounding the house like everywhere in the distance you could just see beautiful aerials um so i sat down for a little bit and just watched movies and i watched um just the fireworks it was nice and then at midnight i peeked into the room gave logan a kiss from me and then gave logan another kiss from her daddy and carried on you know well i stared at her for a, a good chunk of time but i don't really want to be all creepy and put stared at logan for an extended period of time um you know as she slept but <laughs> you know I, I just 2019 was a very 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 challenging year for me it was also an amazing year because it was the first full year i spent with logan our first full year that logan had you know and it was also a huge um transformative year for my family you know we've always been close but we are close in new ways and we're finding more culture you know um it's just 2019 was a year of growth um 2018 was a year of change my dad retired i had a baby and i got married and i moved out so that was a year of change 2019 was a year of growth and then 2020 will be whatever it, it is you know everyone's doing different things my brother moved to a different island my sister did as well she started her first like real job um 
I'm building a house, I have a new job, I, you know, Logan's getting bigger and she's changing every day and she's at this point where she's like really like her own person, you know, she has like her own opinions, she thinks certain things are funny, she knows what she doesn't think is funny and that's like everything I do, she doesn't think I'm a funny person at all, except when I'm doing like when I'm, I don't even know how to describe what I'm doing, but she just thinks I'm weird, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um, 2020, I'm hoping to be, is a great year, but we'll see. I mean, any time that I get to spend with Logan, it's going to be good, you know? And so if I don't accomplish anything other than just spending mass amounts of time with Logan, then I will consider that an amazing year. And I think that that's how I always want to look at things. Like, did me, did Logan and I enjoy our time together, you know? Okay, so we're jumping up to Wednesday. I feel like at some time, at some point you're going to see that I wrote the wrong day down. Like, I don't even know what I did. I think I went into the other planner and I started planning my Thursday and that day and it got all mixed up. But this was Chris. Oh, it's Christmas. No, it's not. It is New Year's. Um, we slept in. Uh, my grandmother came over. She kind of surprised us and just popped on over, which was really nice. I'm a grandpa, but he stayed outside and did our yard work because that's his favorite thing in life, I think. Um, but my mom, my, my grandmother and Logan, oh my goodness, they were like doing this silly little thing where they drop the ball down, the little thing that spins it and shoots it out. And they just like, my grandmother found like so many different balls and just started dropping it down. And Logan was like on the ground laughing so hard. Like, I have a video and, like, caught, like, the very ending of her, like, rolling backwards and, like, falling on the floor. But they were just laughing up a storm. It was so cute. And they were laughing for a long time. We did face out my sister because she missed Logan. You know, she's having withdrawals at this point because, you know, two days without my daughter and and it's the end of the world. Um, I don't say that sarcastically. I mean, my daughter and my sister, if you know them, they are the best of friends. They are, like, yeah, you can't find a better duel, but... But yeah, so I did film a little bit. I had dinner with a friend that night. Um, just just a friend. So yeah, we went out. Um, we went out to a local cafe, kind of. Um, we got some really good food. Um, I went in knowing that I wanted pasta because, um, that's what I've been craving. And I told my mom. I told my mom and I told my friend. If I don't leave with pasta, if I decide to, that something else looks better, then I will regret it. So no matter what, even if I see something that looks absolutely amazing i have to get pasta like i know that i did and i felt so satisfied after i left um we, we talked for like a little bit and then i went off to target and i just like enjoyed some time by myself which was very nice i just walked around um i think my mom needed me to pick up groceries so i just like i don't know i went in on new year's because <laughs> that's what i do I go to target like every single day even though i try to avoid that place my days off which now like every day is my day off um okay so do you see what i'm doing i'm writing putting down the wrong colors and i'm realizing that this is supposed to go in my other planner and i forgot to do wednesday of this planner yeah this is when it starts getting tricky for me because i can't figure out how to look at things and i don't know i think that the colors are similar but i like that one is pastel and one is like more vibrant and different like it makes it fun you know but I was able to pull in um, that movie night one because the purples were close enough so that it didn't go to waste because it was too bold on the other planner, but it looked perfect in this one. So you see like how the other one I used a ton of little things and this one I'm using a lot of half boxes like in this specific day. It's like it's really fun just to mark out different things and I used the extenders in certain ones and I didn't use them in another and yeah. This, these two spreads, I used a lot of deco. Like, do you see the two girls? There's, like, a heart on there. And then do you see underneath that there's a lollipop with, like, a bow on the lollipop. And then there's a star underneath that. Like, I decked out this kit with, like, those stars. I think it was actually from a washi overlay. And I just, I cut it up. I put stars everywhere just to make it pop. I've been really, um, I've been in a lot of been really creative with my foil just to add in some extra elements of gorgeous foil you know i mean why not i feel like a lot of it's going away so i may as well use these sheets and just 
fill it up. That's what. That's why you buy stickers, right? So use them. Let's see what I'm doing down here. See, like, there's more little things on this side where the other one there wasn't. And I wish that I went more day by day together so that you could see the difference. But I'm sure you could tell that this is, like, a completely different spread. Um, and then I think I marked down here that my mom's, my dad's friend came over. He's, like, my dad's new bestie. Um, and he's been, his family's been, um, increasingly becoming a lot closer to our family, which is really nice. They are, um, amazing people, and they do great things for the, the local Hawaiian community. Okay, this is where I take all of the stickers from the other planner, and I move it to this one. I love the twinkle... Uh, overlays full box overlays that I have on these boxes I cut them up and like put them in corners and stuff like that it's so pretty and delicate and you can just add it without it taking up too much um, of the picture okay so this is my sister's first day of school <laughs> first day of work her first real job she does some really cool work but I don't think that she wants me to see what she does and that's you know that's like her privacy I'm not gonna um, invade that but I did put in that I drink a lot of coffee at work and I did some planning while I was working because I was listening to phone calls from a one from one girl I was doing lots of training and just um multitasking because that's what I do that is that's me I don't know what I'm pointing at I don't know I'm trying to think of what else I did this day I feel like I just played with Logan I'm trying let me think so it was Thursday I feel like they came over again. I feel like my mom and my dad... Oh my goodness, guys. No, that's not... I mean, that is what happened. But, oh my gosh. I need to tell you what happened on this day. So, my mom wanted to buy a new TV for her upstairs. Um, also, like, as her dual monitor so she could watch The Mandalorian on a better um, quality TV. So, she wanted to pick up two of them. I was going into town to pick up my glasses, which is why there's a little glasses icon. I bought two pairs. I was really excited about that. And I don't think that one of them works. <laughs> but that's like a whole nother thing. So, she put in an order. Um, there was... We wanted a 43-inch TV, and we decided to get two. But there wasn't a second 43. And I realized that to get the 49 would probably be about the same price. So... We went ahead and did it. I went in and everyone was like, are you sure, cat? Are you sure that this is going to fit in your car? And I'm like, I honestly have no idea. And so this is a thing that has happened multiple times where I've gone into Target to buy something massive for my mom. And they look at me like I'm crazy. And I'm like, guys, I did not think I was going to come in today. This is not even for me. Like, this is not my order. I am just the delivery person. So don't look at me like I'm nuts. And I was like, can you just throw the TV in the shopping cart so I can take it out to the car and figure it out? Because I didn't want anyone to, like, have to try to figure it out in my car. Oh my gosh, it was so embarrassing. But my really good friend Misty came to drop off my Christmas present, which was the Hobonichi. Um, that's why there's a Hobonichi in that one um, full or quarter box, half box. And so, oh my gosh, she was laughing the entire time. It was so bad. My trunk was empty except for well it wasn't empty there was only one thing in my trunk it, so i pulled it out and it was like a little box that i was going to donate to goodwill like a decorative box with like a mug and a backpack in it like really small oh so they're like trying to do something and the box falls out of the car i'm like oh my goodness this is so embarrassing and they're like trying to grab it i was like just leave it just leave it i got it don't worry and everyone's like looking at all my stuff on the ground and like everyone's trying to figure out if this tv's gonna fit which it wasn't even like big it's just that my trunk i have a like i have a suv type car but my trunk was is not massive it's pretty small for how big my car is but yeah it was just fairly embarrassing and then i was like Came back like two days later and I was like, sorry, I have to return this TV. My mom wants a bigger one. But don't worry. This time I brought her car and it'll definitely fit. But even that, we weren't sure if it would fit. But um, it ended up fitting no problem, which I kind of assumed. I um, I do work for Target Electronics. So I see really big TVs fit in really small cars. And I say this often to people, but you know it's a little different when it's your actual thing. Oh, and the reason why... Um, 
I couldn't fold down my seats just because my daughter's car seat was in here, which I guess I could have taken out if I really wanted to, but it was fine. It fit. We are good. I came back and I just put that. We had bath time and Logan went to sleep early. I feel like I didn't really see her that day. Um, She just decided she wanted to go to sleep. And um, I also put that we had dinner with our friends, which is why I went to Target, was to get groceries for uh, my mom's friends coming over. Well, and my dad's friends. He's like my dad's new best friend. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this day. Oh, I did a face mask. <laughs> so I guess that's not it for today. Look at that little pop of hollow on that star. I love that so much. I think this is the day that I fell asleep with Logan too. And I ended up waking up and not being able to go to sleep. So I watched you and did a face mask. Okay, we are moving on to Friday. I don't know what happened, so we're just gonna watch myself point to my planner. <laughs> I really like this kit. It's like, I, so my goal for this year is to try out different kits, different shops, different colors, because um, I really like the more neutral ones, but the bright colors is like out of my comfort zone, so I'm really excited, because I like black that's like my favorite color and my kit bases my bases my kits are really basic so that's the goal for the year just try different things out find some planner piece hopefully i put that i went to work oh i know what i did so i oh yes i definitely remember this okay so my sister moved to a different island and forgot a few things she also didn't have any oh no she yeah she forgot all her planner stuff and so she got her hobonichi um and then like i said thursday was her first day of work so she got tons and tons of deadlines and meetings and all of these things that she needed to make sure that she organized but she had no kits for her hobonichi and the rest of her like she could have used her erin condren but all of her stuff was on this island so like all her planners everything so i boxed it up and then threw it in the car took it to the post office, mailed it to her, she got it the next day, which was pretty good for her. I did tons and tons and tons of reading. So much reading at work because I ran out of stuff to do. I'm waiting. I was waiting for my training to like really start, but that's what we did at work. Um my mom did my mom and my dad started the flooring. Actually no, let me let me back up. So Target sucks. Target does this all the time. Okay, this is probably a little choppy, but I released where I work, so I needed to take it out. Other than Target. Target's whatever. Target sucks. So, I worked a full day. They scheduled me to work till 11 o'clock, and then I had to come back in at 6 o'clock the next morning. That's a total of 7 hours in between my two shifts. That is technically illegal, but this happens all the time. I was so mad. I was very upset because I was really tired. Um... So, you know, I did my long work shift. I worked till 11 o'clock at night. I come home and all I want to do is eat. Eat, sit at the kitchen table because that's what I normally do is sit at the kitchen table and like do stuff. And then I went, wanted to go to bed. But my parents, not complaining at all, my parents decided that that's when they wanted to redo all the flooring in our house, which so excited. It's so grateful. I'm not complaining. But it was just like not what I expected. But yeah, it was great. I mean, our house looks so, so amazing. It looks, it looks gorgeous. Our house is, it has definitely been a nice upgrade for our house. It's been a long time coming too, because we've had the house for 25 years. Um, we put in vinyl flooring. So that day I just marked that we got our new flooring and we did it. My mom, like that's the only thing she wanted was flooring. And she finally has it. So she's very, 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 very happy. You know, happy mom, happy wife, happy life kind of thing. Yeah, that's what's happening right now. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to move on to Saturday because I feel like... Actually, how much time? I have like 12 minutes left. Yeah, 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 I can do that. Okay, so... I don't remember getting tea this day, but I think I did. Oh, I think that little crock pot was leftovers. I honestly don't know, but... Anyway, so on Saturday, I worked my normal shift. I was exhausted. Like, I had like five hours, I felt like, in between my shifts because I left work late. It takes like a 30 minutes to drive to work, 30 minutes back. Like, you get hardly any time in between. So I was really upset. 
but you know I went to work and then after that I went to TJ Maxx and I you know I had a few things I wanted to go shopping for um the first thing was the take the take the day off take the day off clinic moisturizer makeup remover thing yeah that's what I wanted to do that's what I wanted to buy and I wanted to buy a backpack for Logan like a I have a skip hop one like not a baby bag but just like a kid's toddler bag just to throw it in like pretty small like little backpack that I can carry around with me you know keep all her little essentials so that's what I really went in there for and then I went in there for one more thing that I don't quite remember oh a lunch bag yeah that's what I went in there for so you know that would add up to like $30 at least right at least 30 40 dollars whatever not a lot but not too much um so I was looking around didn't find anything I found like an ornament for a youtuber here that I absolutely adore and I found like something else I don't know what it was something pretty small so I went up and I was like can I put ten dollars cash I just want to get rid of the cash I have and then I'll put the rest of my card and she's like sure but like your transaction is ten dollars and forty cents so do you want forty cents on your card I was like oh my gosh no please don't do that I have like I have like 40 cents so it was just like she just like looked at me like I was crazy and I was like I'm sorry I'm really tired I worked all day oh, oh I've worked for like 17 hours or something like that in the last two days and she's like she was rude I was like I like you do not understand I'm tired don't judge me and then she totally started judging me after I said that yeah it was just it wasn't a fun time but then I got home um, I took, like, the best shower of my life. I felt like it was, like, washing off the week, you know, one of those showers. And my mom and I were planning on having, like, a girls' weekend to work on some of our business that we're trying to start up. So I ended up just working on cutting out the patterns, but she ended up helping my dad, um, which was, you know, totally fine. I just kind of, like, sat in my room um, aimlessly doing random things because I was so tired and didn't wasn't able to fall asleep because they were playing really loud music. And yeah I think oh oh, and I went to McDonald's that was like my reward oh good job you worked like 17 hours I think it was something more like 24 hours in the 48 hour span so my reward was McDonald's okay I'm trying to figure out what else I put in that day um I think I'm like this is like a like the next day I'm like the worst with voiceovers because I film them on my meals and my breaks so I only have like a limited amount of time so I do them in parts I actually did this entire voiceover but I don't know I just like wasn't feeling it I feel like just kind of said stupid things um I think I mentioned that I came home and I cut out patterns for my mom that was like definitely a new experience um it's like a puzzle but really confusing puzzle yeah I, I mean yeah, it was really, it was different. Um, it was like really therapeutic though. I was just so tired that my eyes just could not focus on what I was doing. But I think I put in that I had like the best shower of my life. You know, when you just like wash off, like it wasn't even a bad week. It was just a long week, a very, very, very long week. Washed it all off. I sat down. I watched Hallmark movies as I cut out the patterns and I listened to my parents um, doing their thing they were talking and they were you know putting down the flooring but it was good I think yeah so we're jumping into Sunday and this was a great day so I slept in um, Logan got dropped off earlier in the morning I had cleaned up the room before she got there but most of my morning was just sleeping I mean I slept until like eight o'clock so it wasn't like a major like I slept in all day kind of thing but I told my mom the day before that we should paint our walls. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I told her that I thought it would look really nice if we just changed up the colors. Um, and we've had the same, f not flooring, well, we have had the same flooring, but we've had the same colored living room and house for the most part for most of my life. Um, my mom had watched Trading Spaces, is what she says. And they used a milk, a ma oh my gosh, a paint called Chocolate Milk. So she wanted chocolate milk on her walls. So our house was really, it didn't feel dark at all. Like my dad said, it felt like a dungeon. But after painting it a really light cream white color, I realized that, yeah, our house was really dark. So we had that brilliant idea to just go and buy paint. So we did. Um, we took Logan to the store. We bought, 
a couple of things at Target, ended up buying just like a bunch of random things. I think we went, oh, we went there to buy our TV, the bigger TV to exchange it. So we did that. Logan was tired. She hadn't slept and was really hungry, but she didn't want to eat. So she was a little grouchy, but that was fine. We had fun. She grabbed a little Elmo doll, was playing with it in the shopping carts. So we did that. I got my new lunch bag and got Logan a new bathtub. And yeah, I think we could, I know that we filled up our shopping cart with like a lot of things. But um, after that, we did go to Home Depot. Logan and I were playing with the washing machines and she just like had the best time doing that. Like it was so simple, but she just had so much fun playing with the um, not washing machines, the refrigerators. She opened them up and closed them and then opened them up and then closed them. After that, we picked up coffee for my mom's friends. Um, we were dropping off her Christmas present, which was an, oh no, not R2-D2. My mom bought an R2-D2 in the pot for herself, but she got her, our really good friend, um, my auntie. We got her um, the BB-8 one from Star Wars. If no one knows what BB-8 is, you are living under a rock. Not under a rock, you're just living not in a fun rock. I don't know. That didn't make sense, but I love BB-8. He's one of my favorites. I say it to he, but I'm not sure. BB-8 can be whatever it wants to be. Um, but, yeah, so we dropped it off to her in the rain. Not the most fun, but that's okay. After that, we went home and we played. We played and we played and we played a lot. Logan did take a really long nap, if I can re remember. I don't exactly remember how that night went, but I just assumed that we played a lot because that's what we normally do. That's what we do, you know? I'm just staring. Sorry, I just I just zoned out. I was staring at my spread. I really like Elle's um, from Glam Planner. I really like her script. Um, and whenever I watch her plan with me, I'm just so like, oh, it's so beautiful. It's so pretty. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. That little slow down sticker right there is just um slow. Like that was to mark the wash, the not the washing machine, the refrigerator moment. Because it's just like, Logan, slow down. Um, stop growing up so much she had her doctor's appointment today her 15 this is like weeks later but oh my gosh she's just getting so big uh, i know what we did so my mom and i pretty much for the rest of the night just painted after logan went to sleep we painted a lot and i guys i cut my mom <laughs> oh i use i bought a brand new razor blade oh my gosh just thinking about it just makes me ugh. oh my god and then i i was trying to cut the plastic to put down on the floor and i sliced my mom <laughs> sliced her really good like it was really deep we thought that she needed stitches and she probably did but we put some she put some glue on it it healed really quickly though she was kind of like um wolverine it was really impressive we say it's her um her athletic the olympic athlete because on that 23 and me test it so that she has like a predisposition to be an olympic athlete like that's the kind of body she has and it's really funny because if you know her she's like the least coordinated um least athletic person that i ever met so it's really funny it's just like a it's like a little joke i'm putting down a lot of the deco just to kind of add some fun little aspects to the washi i really love deco especially these spc kits because there's so much of it and i just like to sprinkle it all over um, you'll see that with next week's spread. I really, really, really liked the ones for um, Elle's planner. Not Elle. Glam Planner's um, kits. She adds some really pretty deco. But yeah, I'm going in over here. And I'm just adding in exactly what I added in on the other day. But I'm sure it'll look different. Okay. I, I'll cut up that little clip a little. Like, I cut out the recording a little bit, so starting all over again i'm using a ton of little things because at this point i think i just ran out of full boxes and half boxes and all that other good stuff that's like one of the downsides when you frankenstein plan um i'm still like building my collection because i feel like i i do feel like i have a ton of stickers it's just like not the right color because i don't really use a lot of these colors but that is um one of the great things about scribble prince co is that you can order tons of grab bags i don't really think she has some of them available right now but if they ever get added back into the shop, uh, I would go ahead and just build your collection that way. A lot of my spreads are like that, and the not the week after this spread, but the week after that. So I'm in the week right now, the 13th. I'm still like currently in it. That is a Frankenstein spread again, and the full boxes for it were just perfect. Because, you know, 
honestly the full boxes is what makes a shop there are other things like the washi and the little things but like for the most part what distinguishes two different shops is going to be the full boxes it's going to be what they provide in their kits but if you have the full box and maybe even the washi with those two things you can pull in things from other shops and you don't even really notice so so yeah I did order a full box grab bag from Scrubber Prince Co. And I don't regret it. I don't regret it one bit. It's definitely um, been a lot of fun because there are so many kits I probably wouldn't have purchased. Um, but I can actually make into spreads because I have the full boxes. And then I use other little things from tons of other shops, leftovers. And yeah, but we're nearing the end of our video. I think I'm going to add in a few more things. But we have like a minute and a half or like a minute now. At this point, I don't know what I'm going back in to add, but I really do appreciate everything that you guys have done for me so far. You know, I love the support that I've gotten so far. I know that I have like no one watching these videos, but I am trying to work on that, being more consistent and just just working harder on my YouTube videos. So I hope that if you're watching this, that you appreciated this and give me your feedback about how strange of a planner video this was you know two spreads in one um i'm probably not gonna do it ever again and there's ever there's never gonna be a time that i might need to maybe in july when my planner runs up not in july january i don't know i don't know how long this planner goes but anyway thank you so much for watching this spread i hope that you enjoy this i hope you enjoy this little little wiggle i'm saying goodbye to my planner because i will not be back in it again and i'm saying hello to this one 2020 i'm hoping is going to be a fantastic year for all of us thank you all so much for watching i hope that you have a wonderful day bye guys